Hey there everyone, it's me Nasmus here and assalamu alaikum and, and welcome to another Windows 10 video. Um, in this video I'll show you how to switch between the new and old Tridian engines of Internet Explorer. So um, the reason I'm doing this video is because recently NeoN posted a uh, new article uh, that says Internet Explorer 12 big changes are coming to Tridian. And basically, it is written by Brad Sams, and it says that in i12 there will be a new DLL, which is a file that Internet Explorer uses, and it'll be uh, so there will be an old DLL with the old engine that's included in Internet Explorer 11, and a new DLL which would be part of i12. So if you're running an older website that depends on um, legacy code from Internet Explorer. Uh, Internet Explorer you will use compatibility mode and use the old rendering engine and um, but for mo for all other websites will it'll use the new um, rendering engine so uh, so if uh, Brad uh, does a good job explaining that uh, about this so if you I'll, I'll give you a link to this article in the uh, description below of, the, of this video um, but um, but you could actually what I the reason I'm doing this video is because you could actually switch between the two engines right now in the latest Windows technical preview build uh, available to the Windows insiders as of January 1st it's build 9879 um, this is pre consumer preview uh, which will be available in January 21st or announced in January 21st but what I, what I want to show you is how you could actually uh, get to it so basically to enable or disable a new uh, rendering engine just open a new tab and type in about colon flags and press enter and when you press enter uh, you have uh, a new page that says experimental experimental features and this is new to Windows 10 and says caution these experiments bite turn them on at your own risk so here we can do is uh, go to scroll down and you could see enable experimental web platform features uh, basically this will either enable or disable the new rendering engine so if you choose disable you have um, you it, you'll revert back to the Internet Explorer 11 mode and Microsoft calls this mode the document mode but if you have in, in uh, the mode enabled um, you have you'll switch back to the new uh, rendering engine and Microsoft calls that the edge mode and um, and automatic is basically Microsoft only well either automa automatic means Mac you'll, you'll you'll either get um, the new mode or the old mode depending on how Microsoft wants you wants to test it so um, if you want to turn it on force enable it click enable and when you click apply changes it will ask you to um, restart Internet Explorer see so Internet Explorer needs to um, restart but you could enable it and then there you go so when you're done just restarting Explorer and everything should be uh, great and one thing you will notice is when you do enable the new rendering engine uh, you could actually up uh, when you, and uh, you could actually have the option to upload folders in OneDrive so let me show you go to OneDrive.com and then you click upload you have the op option to upload folder this option is missing if you um, disable the new rendering engine and now before I go I would like to show you this um, article it's by Petri or Petri IT knowledge base um, it says using Internet Explorer edge mode in Windows 10 technical preview and this uh, website does a great job at explaining the difference between document mode and edge mode and it also highlights the new features HTML5 features that are available in edge mode so I hope you do if you're interested uh, do check it out. I'll have the link for to this article and the new one article uh, below this video. So um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you are interested in the new rendering engine, and if you are running the technical preview, will you force enable this um, um, engine? And do remember that this is the new engine that is in under development and might actually break web pages. So yeah. So let us know what you think and uh, goodbye.